All right, let's see what this is all about. As soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. That and then hair. we can get started. This is gonna be great. You bet. Hold up, hold up. Go back, go back. Is that? Soon. Get started. This is gonna be great. You bet. Does the cat talk? <laughs> as soon as. Hold up. Do the cats actually talk? Like, can we hear what they're saying now? Is that just rare? Okay. As soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. This is gonna be great! You bet. Okay, I'm already sold. I've only seen five seconds or so, but I can already be sold that the cats can speak English now, verbally. Please keep that as a thing. I hope we find them soon. That's interesting looking. Incredible. I've never heard of a Karaknoth herd this big before. One Sorry. of them's got big spikes on its back. Karaknoth? Looks like it's coming off of the world. Okay, some weird bear dog lion thing. What kind of weapon is that? Now to lead it away from the pack. We'll make for the desert. Right. Okay, this is clearly more taking a kin to world. The sandstorm. Now commencing the hunt by order of the guild. We never announced it. We just went and killed shit We're back in my day. Okay, so those things can produce lightning. That's a high priority target. Interesting to say the least. We've got some new pet. I still prefer the Palamutes. Heavy bowgun. Okay, so we have a counter slash for the Great Sword. Uh, new bowgun I selected you as a lead hunter for this expedition. Thank you, sir. A lightning storm in the desert. That's cool. Please tell me this isn't all that we get to see. That's it? Is that it? That's all we get? If that's it, that's nothing. Like I was expecting more, not like a few measly pal and few measly animals, and that's it. We get some weird, ugly-looking dog, like Saint Bernard-looking ass. <laughs> that's all we get. Like I was expecting more, but that that just feels underwhelming to me. Like I'm more excited about the fact that. You listen carefully. Okay. As soon as we find a good spot, I don't like this chick. But we can get things set up and ready to go, and then we can get started. So you got the scholar and the tomboy, which it's like internet's going to be divided amongst these two chicks. This is going to be great. You bet. Voice. Okay, so apparent. I'm more excited about the fact that the felines can hopefully speak English. Instead, just like you just nail, whacked a cat in the nuts. Like, I'm sorry. But the mouth doesn't move. This is gonna be great. You bet. But this is gonna be great. You bet. 
the mouth for the cat doesn't move all the time. Like, it doesn't match the lip syncing. I hope they fix that. Unless they're going with the whole, oh, it's the original Japanese lip syncing. And I'm like, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. And it's like, yeah, we're only going to show the now great sword. Away from the pack. We'll make for the desert. Right. Now, see, I played Rai. I have not touched World because it seemed a little too complicated to me. Because you got to monitor also, like, your glider, your mantle. And I'm like, I liked Rise over it, contrary to popular belief, because nobody likes Rise, apparently. But I'm just... I like the big, expansive open worlds, the free movement and whatnot, but... <sighs> like, Rise feels more akin to actual Monster Hunter, where you go hunt the thing down, kick its ass, catch or kill it, repeat. World feels more like you're exploring an open world. Like it feels like it's trying to more be be more like um the the game with the um the giant metal creatures where you're just hiding in bushes all the time. Like it feels like it's trying to be more like that, and I'm not really down for that. I'm not into that. But if you give me a title called Monster Hunter, I'm gonna go hunt something. I'm gonna go take a big ass sword and smack something in the face. I am a simple person with simple wants in a Monster Hunter game. All right, that's it. Now, if I want to, now I will admit, contrary to that opinion, I will say there were times with the photo photography mode in Rise, I did get a kick out of that, looking for those rare special pal or creatures, like the gigantic, the huge snail, or the nine, little nine-tailed looking fox. And it's like, you got to go out of your way to find them, which is cool. I like that. Little tidbits and Easter eggs you got to go find, but other than that, that was basically it. And the free title updates were very meh, like very bland. It's like, okay, we added one new monster and that was it. We added in a Spinus and we did fuck all with it. We added one variant and I'm like, y'all added one of the, a creature from a game that never left Japan. Do you know how much of a dick move that is? To just have the game not leave that area, which could have been a big hit over here online. So many creatures, so many monsters to kill and fight. And yet, and the Tonfas, it denied us that. Put the Tonfas in this game, please. Either that, or I'm going to say, screw this. I'm going back to Dauntless. That's all I have to say. But that's... <laughs> Practically all I've got to say. I hope this game does well. I mean, I heard they wanted to do a VR Monster Hunter, and I'm like, that's going to give somebody a seizure or vo intense vomiting. Like, don't do not do Monster Hunter in VR. Like, if you got to do it in VR, do it like Pokemon Snap or something to where you're hiding from the monster. Specifically hiding from it. And, like, like make... I don't want to say play as the, um, the chick who's like, Hey, partner! From World, because nobody liked her. Nobody liked her. Like, just observing the monsters, recording their biology, etymology, whatever it is, out in the wild, like a David Attenborough. Here we have the wild Brachytios in its natural environment. And now it's charging at me because I am not hiding in the brush. And it's about to cave my ass in. Like, just do something like that, please. If you gotta make a VR monster hunter, that's all I ask. It's not hard. Just come on. Yeah, that's all I got. Now, will I try? Will I play this? I'm not certain right now. I'm not certain from what I've from what little they've given us. Which honestly, they could have given us more. It's like, oh, the giant sandstorm, and I'm like, there's not much to go off of. Like, you know, I'm not intrigued by the by the gameplay. If my biggest hype is that the calico the palicos can speak english finally that's not that good i'm sorry not a good point but that's just me let me know what y'all think are y'all excited for monster hunter let me know in the comments down below and what your hopes for the game are like what you want to see added i'd like to see a new weapon type i want the tonfas to be brought back and hell the monsters from frontier to make an appearance we got a spinus and they did screw all with it. We got one variant and nothing else. And I'm like, really? 
It's like, you could have put in Eruzerion. We have the Zenogre Skeleton. We have it. Or maybe this will be the day that Legiacris finally comes back. Or underwater... Oh god, underwater combat. I don't want to go back to that. Like, that, that terrifies me. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think, what y'all are... If y'all are excited, what you want to see. And... We'll see when it comes out. Savannah.